Hey trainers, Pope Dad here, and along with me is KK Shiv one two eight. And today we're going to be bringing a profile on Glycium Barb, and this is not the expanded list that saw a lot of success in St. Louis or Costa Mesa, excuse me. But uh, it's a standard version that we've been working on for a little while now, maybe what three weeks you think? Around there. So let's jump right into it, and first of all. You've got the 4-3 Glaceon. Now, Glaceon, you either love or hate this girl because you love her when you get her on turn one. Well, first you love her if you get, uh, if you win the coin flip, and then you get her on turn one with the water attachment to the Energy Evolution EV. At that point, you're rocking and rolling. Everything looks good. Life is great. But then you have the games where, worst case scenario, you go second. You don't get the Eevee. And you don't have a water in sight. And so you're forced to have something in the active you don't want. Attach a DCE to something on the bench. And just, at that point, you feel like it's just an uphill battle. What's the point? So this is a very, when it works... It works really good. When it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Good. You just want to scoop your cards up and move on to another game. So, Glaceon, we got it there for the freezing gaze. We're gonna shut off all abilities. We're gonna shut off the Lele Bridget turn one. Hopefully, if we win the corn flip and get the water energy, uh, decent attack. It's reminiscent to the old Night Spear attack that definitely sees a lot of play and used to see a lot of play polar spear it's good for those uh if you need to take a big ko if you got 30 damage on them add a choice band to her hit them with polar spear gx take a good knockout on zork gx or or whatever else is the threat so this is our opening strategy get the turn one freezing gaze lock Power up with DCE, start doing some snipe action. Now, her supporting cast is going to be Espeon. Like I said, we're going to be sniping 30 here, 30 there. We're going to devolve them. And then Potown. And we're going to run uh, Potown. We'll get to that. So, Potown, along with the 30 snipe, it's going to take out your 60 HP Pokemon, Ralts, Zerua are the big two. Uh, Trubbish, we have to have a little more damage to uh, have an answer for those, but... Also, Piplop, if they're running the 60 HP one. Yeah, um, they would run the 60 for that splatter shot where they could do some snipe damage to any Pokemon. But uh, overall, I think I would run the 70 HP. There's too much Buzzwall doing 30 snipes already. So, we're just going to going with this guy. We don't want to put him on the bench right away. We want to go from our hand to the bench, water energy, put him up in the active and devolve. We don't want to leave him on the bench because he is squishy with the 170. He does only have a one retreat, so if he does get pulled up in the active and for some reason they don't one-shot him, we can get him to safety. But for the most part, we want to keep him in hand until we can take out some huge knockouts right away. Put him down, attach energy, devolve, take two or three prizes just like that. So, kind of want to keep him hidden. One one Lele that may seem odd, but uh, we don't need a lot of setup because, you know, we, we basically want to buy time with turn one Glaceon. We don't want to have two or three Lele's that could uh, mess up our chance of getting the turn one Eevee because we have four basics five six seven eight nine nine so that gives us a forty well about a forty forty five percent chance of starting Eevee rather than something else and when we go up on Lele that 40-45% suddenly drops to 35-40% chance of starting it. So 
We want to keep it as close to a 50-50 as possible. Higher would be better, but I don't see any possible cut. So for now, one Lele. Next we have kind of the hidden all-star of the deck. Barbacle. We're going to use it if we have a stadium in play. No special energies can be attached to their Pokemon. So that means no DCE, no strong energy for Buzzwall, Lycanroc. I mean, this is a tough card to get around. And you're saying, well, they can just fill blow the stadium or they can replace it with their own. This is true, but we have answers to that we will get into later. Now, just for an extra little draw support, we have our Sushi Master Octillery. Once during your turn, draw so you have five. It's just kind of a consistency booster, so we don't get in with a dead hand or anything like that. Because we are running Aqua Patches, so we'll be able to dig and use cards pretty easy. So, a lot of value there. It'd be nice to have a 2-2, but like I said, we want to start EV, so we don't want to start adding a bunch of other basics. That lowers our chance to start with Eevee. So that's what we got. Let's move on to the uh, trainers and let's expand it out real quick. Working with three Aqua Patch. <coughs> Four would be nice. Not exactly needed. Because a lot of times you're going to roll with two Glaceons. So you want to be attaching DC and then maybe Aqua Patch. So not too much going on there to that we would need the fourth so pal pad get back two supporter cards what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting back our acerola or a cynthia or a guzma we're going to be using things along that line to get it back now you have one rescue stretcher to get back and it's mainly if this gets knocked out or if we have to sycamore it away or for some reason it gets to the graveyard we can get it back discard. that's a discard that's sorry folks I keep saying discard pile or graveyard pile you know what I mean so rescue stretcher we're gonna be getting back this guy and possibly our barbacle and artillery, and artillery. Yeah, because if you discard it with a Sycamore early game, it could be needed in the late game. Yes, it would definitely be needed. So one Rescue Stretcher, four Ultra Balls, four Poe Town. Here we go. Whenever your opponent or you evolves their Pokemon, put three damage counters on that Pokemon if you evolve from your hand. This Eva Soda does get around this. And Leafeon's Grand Bloom GX gets around this. But for the most part, they're going to be putting down from their hand, evolving. And so they're going to take three damage counters. We're going to snipe them with the 30, 60. We're going to devolve them. Take one prize. Sounds pretty good. So Ace Rolla, just in case something gets in the, uh, stuck in the active, or if we need to heal a Glaceon that's taking a beating we can get her out of there rescue her um, we can get it back with pal pad so one is good two might be nice also but for now one two Bridget's just in case if uh, one's prized we uh, we don't have the best luck in the world we have played games where our one Bridget gets prized and then we're kinda struggling from there so Sometimes you can prize them both of them. Two Bridget's good. Next we have three Cynthia. Excellent shuffle draw. Six. Three Guzma. So we can target down maybe uh, something with a heavy retreat cross. Maybe a Regirock or something. We can Guzma it up and then snipe like uh, some Garbodors and stuff like that on the bench. What have you. Seems pretty good. In. Just in case we get down and uh, prizes we can make our opponent shuffle and draw to their prize cards 
It's also good. We've seen a lot of uh, algorithm or uh, the Sylveon that lets you grab three cards, magical ribbon. Or deciduous, and you get three items of discard. Yep, stuff like that. So definitely making them shuffle. Pretty good option there. Two sycamore. Uh, you don't want to be discarding your barbacles and artilleries and your definitely your espions. So kind of we're we've gone the more shuffle route with Cynthia and in three choice bands to help hit the right numbers with Glaceon because like I said. If you hit with a uh, Frost Bullet and 30 on, say, Zorark GX, and next thing you know, uh, you can pull it up, Polar Spear for the big knockout with a Choice Band, hits the perfect number. Or if you do Frost Bullet for the 90 on the active, and say it's a Zorark, and then you add a Choice Band to it, then you can hit for the knockout. Sounds good, too. So... Three float stones. Just we want to get Eevee in the active on turn one. We want to get water on Eevee. We want to get the Glaceon. So three float stones to help maneuver that. And the Barbacle retreat. Barbacle three retreats. Super heavy. Don't want to be paying a DCE and a water to retreat this bad boy. So and then your artillery two retreat costs again. We don't want to burn a DCE. So three float stone. Definitely good. Last but not least, we've got four DCE and eight water matchups. This deck was actually positioned to be really good in the format, and then Garbodor came along. And you're thinking, well, Garbodor destroys this deck. Yes, it does. But the other problem is. Because Garbodor is everywhere, or being heavily played in the meta, people are playing a lot of fill blowers. Why is fill blower bad? Because it gets rid of our Potown, which we can't lock them out of the special energy. So, before Garbodor was popular with the uh, Buzzgarb list that's doing so well, this deck was positioned extremely well in the meta. So, if we see. Garbodor take kind of a hit or a back seat again and play, then this is definitely the deck I would pick up and take to an, an event. Agreed? Yes, I do. It does have pretty good matchups all around the board, except for against the Garbodors. And, and the field board. You could play around with it. Uh, we Our first list actually ran uh, Lusamine. Let me pull that up. Nice. It's not going to be in the Pokemon. It's going to be in the trainers. We actually had this in so that we could recycle our Potowns and get them back. But we opted for just a higher count in general with the four Potowns. You definitely could try the Lusamine engine to where you get it back and you constantly have it in play. That's kind of at your discretion. Um, if you were going to go that route, you could possibly cut the, uh, if you feel brave, you could go down one Bridget there for a Lusamine, and then you might could go down on the Acerola if you don't feel like you need the, the healing factor in the deck, or even the Pal Pad. So, definitely an option worth exploring. We've only really played with this version, and we've seen success online with this version so definitely keep that in mind that you could play it with Lusamine and have success so matchups right now it's it's tough because there's so much field blower because there's so much Garbodor like I said if Garbodor slows up then this moves forward and has better matchups so, yep. that's all we got. So, for now, from Poke Dad and KK Shiv128, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.